Okay. I don't usually do this, but I think I'm gonna cut into it now rather than doing it later, because usually my style would have been to leave this for one of the last ones because taking this after the girlfriend event would be more interesting. And not knowing what she does afterwards is the question of the day. But maybe I should call for massage. 3,000 yen an hour did not sound bad. You betcha. Just give me your name and address and I'm there. Takayuki Yagami, could you come to Yagami Detective Agency in Nakamichi Alley? Alrighty then. Damn. Yagami san. Well then, let's set you right quick. Uh. Yeah, set me up good. I'm surprised you got me, son. Your muscles are actually quite tense. Is being a detective that tough? <laughs> uh. More or less. I do a little bit of everything from investigating affairs to finding lost cash. Uh. Oh my, that does sound like rather exhausting, but even so, I've never seen anyone wound up this bad. Am I gonna be okay? <laughs> This age doesn't matter being okay or not. If you keep pushing yourself like this, you'll end up losing your life. Eh? Oh no, you mean I'll die. Yeah. yeah, I recommend a heavy dose acupuncture on the double. Tell me where you're feeling the most pain because that's where the needles go. Uh... But I'm kind of scared of needles. <laughs> Will this really make me feel better? That's what acupuncture does, believe it or not. <laughs> I'm sure, I sure hope so. This will be my first time sticking a needle in someone after all. Okay. What? Are you serious? Am I really going to be alright? <laughs> Maybe. Everything goes according to luck of the needles. You might heal up, feel like a new man, or you might not, and suffer irreversible consequences. Huh? Irreversible consequences? Just what are you trying to do to me? <laughs> I'm just playing around. Though some Osaka style humor would loosen you up a bit. Uh, and do you think that helps? Well, I'm about to find out. So, let's get to puncturing. Since this session 3,000 yen and each needle costs 1,000, I'll be using three needles on you. What? I have to guess where? Isn't she supposed to be doing it? Why do I have to do this? I don't know what this does. I'm scared of what this would be. Put it in the glutes, bro. <laughs> Put it. <laughs> I can't. I'm not... <laughs> Dude, I don't know where the fuck to put that. I'm only guessing that the more important spots that you would feel something at when you work your body the shoulders, the back, maybe sometimes the neck. But back is like always a given. Ha. No. Well, how was it? Worked like a charm, I'm sure. Oh, that's going on. I feel better. Yeah, in fact, I'm feeling better than I've ever before. <laughs> right? It looks like my needle is doing the job. Uh, Lucky you. Can we not talk about luck when it comes to putting needles in my body? Alright. I'm scared because I hope that none of these are bad. Now, the calves would be good, to be honest. The calves and the feet. Mostly the feet. I'm not too sure about the the shoulders. I feel like most of these spots are good if it's like the feet or calves. I feel like let's do the feet. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Holy. It feels like a surge of energy but like deeper within my bones. Oh damn. Uh, it must be nice to be so young. You look young too my girl. Anyways, I put the next one. Let's put it in. Mm. It's still funny that I want to do the glutes, but that's so stupid. That's very rare for some people, but I wouldn't say it's very rare. Let me not say that. I don't know that much about acupuncture, but I just know usually the the points and joints of your body is where it hurts the most when you use it a lot. So it's hard to tell when you do the head. The calves, I can already get a good idea of glutes I can get a good idea of and the shoulders let's do the shoulders <laughs> wow that was quite a howl you all right there partner still alive I hope 
felt like my spine was being shattered by a shockwave of suffering. Sure, the noodles are safe? Okay, that's my bed. Dude, how are you so freaked out? You're a man, aren't you? Grow a pair. Calm down. You'll live, I think. Even if I do survive, this is pure agony. Well, uh, that was some good practice. You sure do have a high threshold for pain. I bet I could torture you all day. Okay, chill out. Damn, that gave a lot. Huh? How about not doing that? Just... Ha! You Tokyo fool, her folks really have no sense of humor. I bet you wouldn't last a day in Osaka. Uh... Then I've decided Osaka scares me. Yeah. Good. That's not to take Osaka lightly. Alrighty then, give me a ring if you feel like another massage. Since this looks like it's gonna go by pretty quickly, uh... that was the craziest massage I have had to date. Alright, let's do it again, because that actually wasn't too bad. Unless I can't do it yet, and then that's gonna suck. Aha, uh -huh, so I'll have to do it another time. Alright, that's fair. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Anything here? Please find my son again. Bruh! Bruh, 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 bruh! I'm so upset. I knew this would have a part two. I hate this shit. Alright, let's start it. Alright, hopefully I can figure this out with my own Brainiac, because hopefully I can match what location, because I did pretty good the first time. Alright, man, I hope you're planning to pay me more than you did last time, because I don't like doing this shit. I'm hot. not a person that likes to do this type of thing for people depending. Now this, I could understand. It just, it, a detective shouldn't be doing this still, though. But it is what it is, or at least my vision of what a detective is. Yeah. Not at all. What can I do for you today? I'd like for you to find a Yumugen. Oh my god, I hope this is not going to be too difficult. Hide and seek again. I have some important deadline to hit at work. I can't play with them right now. Pay you more than last 100,000 yen. I don't mind doing a job, but... Oh, thank you very much. No, but a Yumu doesn't seem like he's having fun with this. Something's off. He seemed pretty disheartened last time when I told him you couldn't come. Oh, he's just shy. Oh, shut the fuck up. You're his father. He really clowns up around people he doesn't know. I see. Better get to work, though. I'll forward you the picture you must send to me again. I hope he doesn't plan on doing this to me every time. Because you can't do this every time. I don't want to judge a single dad, but I feel bad for you, Bakun, if this is how it always is. And plus, I'm not going to keep doing this every time, even if you pay me. Like, bro, you need to figure this out. Tell your son to stop doing this shit. It's a thing called no. Oh, I know exactly where that is. That's, that is literally right where to uh, Komorcho Hills is at. He's all the way fucking up there. I might have to use the drone to get his ass. That's not even hard to find. You have to be kind of a dumbass to not know where he's at. There's literally only one place he's at. He's high up again, but what's that in the middle? Guess is back on the trail. That one's easy as fuck. Let's get it. This should be the spot that he's in. Yumu is definitely here. Let's go mm. ahead and get started. He is up here. I don't know how the fuck you got up here, kid. Should I get the cat first? Let me find the cat first. Where's the kitty, bro? Ah, oh, there's the kitty. There's the kitty. Hello, kitty. Alright, now, Ayumu. What in the actual fuck is this? How did you actually get up there? Now, this one's more dangerous to me than the other one. Because I saw a way he could have climbed off of a building. But, on this, he had to rest a little bit for this one. Eh? He's in a dangerous spot again. I better talk to him now. And get this over with. Yumukun, I've been looking for you. That's dangerous, so why don't you come down? You? You came again? Yeah, buddy, your dad is real busy at work, so I came to find you again. <gasps> dad isn't coming again? Hey, we'll talk after you come down. Okay. So Dad's working again, huh? Yeah, he said he's real swamped. Okay. Hey, Yumakun. What? Why do you always hide in places like that? It's dangerous, and you could really get hurt. Because it's dangerous. Eh? The fuck is that logic? Forget it. I'm going home. He hides in those places because it's dangerous. The fuck did that mean? Is he looking for attention? 
Is he hiding in such dangerous places to get his dad's attention? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. It's fucking stupid. Well, at least the job's done. I'm getting Tetsuo Hata, son. Yeah, I just want you to know you're a really bad Who's father, most? Loki. But I could not understand what goes through a single father's mind compared to a single mother, that is. But that's a whole different topic. You got me, son. I trust that you found a Yumu. Yeah, I did. Fantastic. Thank you. I'll send you the money digitally again. Um, oh, hot to son. About your son. Sorry, sorry. Late for a meeting. Thank you so much, though. If you talk... We're gonna talk. No matter what you do, you ain't walking out of this live without getting a hearing from me, bro. Just a sec. Well, you're gonna have to hear it next time, because no matter what he says, I'm gonna have to talk to him. He hung up. He's too preoccupied to ask about his son. I wonder if he even pays attention to him when they're together. That's what I'm saying. That poor kid. So we finished all Genda Law Office's side cases. But we haven't checked Bartender in a while. And I'm certain there has to be something there. There's still a few more left there, I think. And there should be more left here. Okay, so there's one more left, but it requires Reputation 45. Which, right now, I just hit 43, so I need two more friendships finished. There's one I know I can do, and another one I'm just gonna have to suck up and do at the batting cages. But the only ones I can think of. So, we're almost, we're getting close to fishing up these, this, this side case saga, man. We're getting close to the end of this playthrough. Not super close, because there's still a lot left at Yagami Detective Agency. But nonetheless, we're getting somewhere. And the next side case that we have to tackle is going to be that one. So, with that in mind, I guess before... So, let's go back to the Yagami Detective Agency. Alright, let's get this started. I already know there's a third part to this freaking Finding Sun. Oh. Uh, damn. All that is left is just Reputation 45 for these last ones. But it looks like, from what I can see here, there's only five side cases left in the game. From what I can see here. We got D3 here. We got two at Bartender. There's no more at Gendala Office. So there's just the one side case we got going on right now. And then just straight friendships from here. Oh boy. Since we're getting closer to the end of the side case saga, all we have is this friendship, and then we have this one over here. So, it's safe to say that after I do this side case, I am gonna have to have other shit prepared, but I'm hoping that something can be dealt with because I don't think I can finish this side case right now. Or that friendship, but we got this one over here we can tackle, but we also got something at Koi Bride Which this looks like it's gonna be quite an ambiguous side case indeed first Let's see what happens here. I, I'm, I'm wondering what's gonna happen here because there's a whole case and a half I hear the guy who only oh this guy that owns Koi Bride is the guy who actually requested us what I remember this guy yeah, there's been an incident, and I was hoping you could help me out. You are to something about dismemberment. Yeah, I hope you got a strong stomach. Okay, you, you, I guess you gotta start from the beginning. Is this gonna be safe for you two? It'd be, I, it'd be honest if you saw for yourself, allow me. Eh? What the hell? Is this sashimi? And so much of it. Tragic, isn't it? All my precious carp sliced up and served. They didn't deserve this. I want to punch you in the face so badly. I thought this side case was going to be insane, but then there's this! Hmm. This is like getting rickrolled. Like, that's how gay this is. Wait, I don't understand, like, at all. You tell me. I came into work and I was greeted by this bloodbath. Some sort of psychopath must have stuck it here, went on a feeding frenzy. You're saying this is an outside job? 
Has to be. The lock was busted. It happened after we closed them. Okay, killing the fish is weird enough, but why go to the trouble of making sashimi out of them? Beast me. But you're the one I'm paying to figure out the mystery, man. This is... Dude, of all the side cases, why is there another one that just seemed to top the weirdest ones I think I've done in this game? This is just beyond bizarre. Wait, so the job is... Huh. You're damn right. <laughs> you gotta find a son of a bitch who carved up all my instant carp. <laughs> This is so stupid! I gotta know why. I gotta know what they're gonna pay for. They gotta know that they're gonna pay for it. Have you reported this to police? You nuts? Sure, step right into my illegal underground casino officer. No, this was gotta stay off the books. Bruh. Right. It'll be 80,000 yen in the, that case. That worked uh. for you. Yeah, just find the bastard. All right, then let me start and look at the crime scene. How can I even gather clues? How? How? How can I gather clues? They went to the trouble of plating even decorated sashimi. It's kind of elegant even, but there's no signs of anything being eaten. I guess it's safe to say that it wasn't a hunger crime. Thanks to prepare, prepare sashimi this well. This isn't the work of an amateur. To come to think of it, he did kill every single fish. Did he kill every single fish? Should check out the pond. Okay. So where'd the cat? I'm distracted by hearing the kitty, bro. Oh, there's the kitty. Oh yes, Lonely cat. Hey, must know to leave the fish alone, good kitty. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anything in there. There used to be fish here. I remember seeing them. Wait, there is a fish there. Looks like some of them are still alive. Yeah, there's quite a few in here. What the fuck? This, it's hard to tell. I don't know how it's gonna look on YouTube, but there's a lot of fish in here, actually. Some of them are still alive. Why did he spare them? Maybe he got bored? Maybe he didn't need that many? Guess it's too early to speculate. Oh, yes, you know. I hate this game. I hate this game. I hate this game for that. I already looked at this three times. I looked at this three times! Whatever. Ice, did he have it at the ready? Make sure this is we wouldn't spoil. Dude, this should not have taken that long for me to see the ice in the bowl. I looked at it three different times. You tell me I had to literally zoom in on it? I did it twice zoomed in. I don't even, I don't even give a fuck. This, that is stupid. Anyways, I think I've seen everything I'm going to find. Uh, whatever. So it seems the killer sliced up a certain number of fish to meet a certain criteria, then preserved his yeah. work. Figure out anything you got me, son? Not yet. The motive is the biggest question mm -hmm. mark right now. I'll say. That's where I'll start. Once I can understand the why, I think we'll start to figure out the who. Makes about as much sense of, as any of this, but what's your plan? Like I said, this isn't an amateur's work. I'll start with some chefs in the uh. city. Leave it to you then. Let me know if you find anything. Find some intel from a sushi restaurant. Okay. I know where to start. Never mind. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a call. Genda. Ready to get a call from him. What is this? What's what can I do for you? You got me. I know this is something, but I got a case for you. What kind of case? Well, I usually explain it myself, but the client says it's urgent. Her name is Taiko Nakahara-san, about middle age. She's staying at a hotel in Theater Square right now. You can go head down there and hear her out. Sorry, this is just out of the blue. Right now? Yes, now. Why? Don't try to tell me you're busy and turn down a paycheck. I don't, I don't want to say the N word right now, but can you hold your horses? When you ask me something, you gotta know when I'm available and when I'm not. And right now, I'm actually busy getting a paycheck from something else. <sighs> hey, I actually am. You know what? Fine. To be the lobby at Hotel New Deborah Southside. Thanks for got me. Yeah, yeah, shut up. <laughs> Wait, when the rain pours, huh? Got time to head to the hotel, though. So, is it gonna make me do that first? Nope. 
It's just a random Genda request. I kind of want to wait to do that. Because, yeah. Cool that I got another psychic from Genda Sensei. But, again, not a good time for that. I'd rather do this while I have a good sense of mind right now. And the place I actually need to go to is on the other side of the map. Actually, never mind. I just searched and found out that I have to do this case before I can finish the other one because it forcibly yeets your progress. Now, I did have to search this just because for some reason something wasn't working earlier. I don't know if I explained it or not. I, I, it was actually stupid. Anyways, let's do this other side case for Genda first. So Genda Sensei gave you my name. He did. Helped me out ways back. I could never thank him enough. Taiko Nakahara, by the way, pleasure to make your acquaintance. Well, you already know I'm Yagami, I guess, but nice to meet you all the same. What can I do for you? You won't believe this, but someone ran off with my purse. Komorito is as rough as they say, isn't it? It's terrible. Did you have any valuables in it? My wallet was in there, of course. But I'm more concerned about my ring. It was a small diamond ring that my husband gave me. The missing diamond. Diamond? It certainly counts as a valuable. Indeed. And wouldn't you know it, my anniversary is this weekend, you got me, son. I put a damper on the whole thing to not have it, wouldn't you agree? And my husband would mope the whole time. He's a sentimental man, you see. Always wants everything perfect, and oh, I apologize, I'm blabbering on it. Ah, oh, you're fine, I can see how valuable your ring is to you, man. In other words, I need to get the purse back as soon as possible, of course. What the fuck? How am I supposed to tell from this sketch? This is actually very well drawn. I mean, it's better than most, yes, but I still can't tell who that would possibly be. It gives me a bit of an idea, though. Glad that those art classes finally amounted to something. And your feet, you got me, son. I hope you'll go easy on me, being an old friend of Genda Sensei. Oh, uh, how about 20,000 then? That's quite fine. I wish you the best, you got me, son. Oh dear, is that the time? I'm gonna miss my Tokyo sightseeing tour if I don't hurry. I'll let you go then. I'll be in touch. Thank you. First thing a thief usually does is sell valuables, so that's probably a good start. So we could go to the Bishu Pawn Shop. Pretty busy all of a sudden. Where to next? Well, let's check the Abishu Pawn Shop. Let's talk to you. Hello. Excuse me, sir. Have you bought any diamond rings from a man who looks like in this sketch? Turns out the ring was stolen property. Actually, I do remember this man coming into the shop. Hey. Really? Yes, just the other day. So it was stolen, huh? Yes, did you buy it? Yeah. I'm afraid I didn't. But I had a hunch that it was stolen, so I refused him. Uh. I see. Any idea where he might have gone next? No, but I have a feeling he'll strike again soon. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? He returned later that night to buy a knife. It was a chef's knife, so I didn't think anything of it at the time. Wait, the purse snatcher bought a chef's knife? Are these cases related? Oh, don't tell me the... No, 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 no. You got me. Please do not tell me it's going back to the case with the Gucci please do not tell me we're going back to the Gucci if he did that I'm gonna be so upset at the Gucci I mean it could be a coincidence but I should drop into a sushi store oh hmm okay so back to gathering into the sushi restaurant with that one so, either way, it seems like it still makes us go back to here. Oh, yeah, Gozaru guy. Anyways, I know where the sushi place is. I will take you with me. Maybe not. God damn it. Alright, anyways, without getting really interrupted, I know where to start. We're back here to this guy. We gotta talk to the owner of the restaurant. 
Can I talk to the? Can I? Can I? Can I? I know. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry to bother you during work, but I'm a detective, and I have a few mm -hmm. questions. Detective, there been any trouble? Well, the case is an odd one. It seems that someone went and turned some carp at Koi Bride into sashimi. Huh? You pulling my leg? <laughs> I wish I was, sir, but this is a, as real as it gets. <laughs> Take a look at this, if you would. As you can tell, the pond lost a lot of fish and gained a lot of sashimi they didn't want. I see. This is what's called a, a rye preparation technique. It's quite skillful, really. So it was a pro. Do you know anyone who's capable of this? Wait. Ooh. Is that a yes? There's a guy we fired last month, Wakahara. Mm -hmm. Go on. Well, we took him on as an apprentice and even thought he was pretty good. He would argue with the customers. I'm sorry. I know that that kid right beside you that we did a friendship for keep doing that motion. But I swear, every time I think he's doing that motion, he, he's doing some gay shit. Like... Can he just stop doing that motion? Because he's putting nothing in his hand and doing an up-down motion like that's kind of distracting. When I have to fucking read at the bottom where his hands move. Eventually, he punched the customer, so we fight him on the spot. You think he could be the guy who did this? Well, I don't know that i go that far. But I do know he had a lot of money trouble. And he was a frequent customer of Koi Brian. I think I'd like to talk to him. Do you have any content information you could give me? I really shouldn't unless you have some proof that would implicate him. He's protecting his apprentice like any good master would. But if he needs to see evidence, I think I can show him something that'll make him talk. I don't have any proof of that your apprentice is behind the sashimi, but I do have proof that he was involved in a crime. You do you. <laughs> is this enough? Is the man the sketch of Wakahara son? Yes, that's uh, quite a good likeness. As I thought, the purse thief and the sushi expert are the same guy. So we're literally killing two birds with one stone with this side case. That's insane. Okay, which means the same guy who bought the knife the night of the incident. I knew something fishy about the two cases. <laughs> That case, a shoot me of the fawn. Nah. Hey, you gonna tell me what's going on and just keep staring off into space? Uh, sorry. Sir, turns out this man stole a purse. What? You sure? Yes, my other client is one of his victims. <laughs> so his money trouble finally drove him off the yeah. edge. I don't think that's all. There's more. Just the other day, Walker Hassan bought a ch uh, chef's knife at a pawn mm -hmm. shop. A chef's knife? What for? Remember what I told you about the inside of Koi, Brian? I had to be something done by someone who had the skill of handling fish, right? Wait, do you think Wakahara-san bought a knife to do that? Sir, I do understand wanting to protect your former apprentice, but at this point... I think it's safe to say Wakahara-san... ...has been on a crime spree, and I could use your cooperation. It's okay. To tell you the truth, when I saw the sashimi arrangement, Wakahara was the first person who came to mind. The cut, the arrangement, the decorations. It's got his signature written all over it. I see. Do you happen to know how I can reach him? Actually, I've disposed of all of his contacts, but if you really want him, just wait for him at a Pachico parlor. He's over at, Val at, over at a volcano. He's over at Volcano in Theater Square? I had to see that. Okay. Let's see. So, if I didn't do the Genda Law Office side case, I would not have had the evidence to even do this part. That's crazy, bruh. Alright, Volcano. I guess we never exactly went into here either. So there's the Pachico parlor that Wakahara frequents. So search for him. We 
you just go right in, right? No? Wait, what? Wait, do we wait for him then? Oh, wait, never mind. He's right here. Oh, he got the mole right there on his freaking forehead. Hello, buddy. You fit the build pretty well. Wait, him. I know. Are you Wakahara son? Huh? Who are you? Oh, you got me. A detective. A detective? What would a detective want with me? A purse with a diamond ring in it? A bunch of dead fish? What do you think those two have in common? Crap. Really, a chase? Get that bitch! <laughs> Easy. Damn, how'd you know about both of those? Did my homework. It's time to turn yourself in. I think you're going to owe something for those fish. Hi, you take me for a fool? Like I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna just go quietly. Fine. I'm not opposed to using a little force. Oh yeah? It's gonna take a little more than a little. Fucking hilarious, goddamn. <laughs> Do you wanna keep resisting? I surrender. I'm good to go. Okay, but before that, I've gotta ask, why did why did you do this to see me, dude? To get the ring out. The fish ate it. To get the ring out. Explain? Uh, I snatched a purse from the old wind wind bag. And I was pretty shocked to find a diamond. So I figured I'd head the Koi Bride and try my luck. But when I got there, I tripped. The ring went right into the water. The stupid fish thought it was food and they swarmed it before I could even see which one uh. ate it. Oh, so you just went and just carved up fish because of that? That's fucked, bro. I had to go through a lot of them before I found it. Wait, but why go through the trouble of making it to see me? You could have been faster about it. Uh, yeah, sure, I know that. But when I saw it all sliced up, the fish and fry, I just couldn't help myself. Figured if I played them up, at least it wouldn't go to waste. Wow, you make a much better chef than a criminal. <laughs> I suppose so. I admit, it felt good to make all that sashimi. Well, after you do your time, you should give the chef thing another shot. Maybe I will. But I think I'm done with carp for a while. Oh wow, they're both here, what the fuck? Man, it's gonna be a nice double whammy of a side case saga, bro. That's awesome. So that's what happened. <laughs> wow, doesn't surprise me that they ate the diamond. If it's in the pond, it's fair game. It was a small one. Maybe if my husband had splurged a little more, they wouldn't have gone for it. Well, anyone wants some celebratory sashimi? I guess it'd be a waste to toss it. <laughs> Oh, I admit, it does look rather inviting, and after all, a professional chef made it. Maybe I'll invite my husband too. Will you be staying, Agami-san? Uh. I think I'll pass. I'm officially fished out. <laughs> Bruh, you really just had to joke about that. That's finished for that side case. And? Aw. Uh. So I guess it counted for both of it, I suppose. Yep, we are officially out of side cases. So, from this point forward, all we can do is do friendships until we get to 45. Then there's this one, and then the rest is just iffy. Reputation needs to be 50 at that point. Now, at this point, I might have to do other friendships before finishing that, but I guess while we're here, we got something to look forward to. Alright, Sakura, let's get started. It's time for another massage. Give me the goodness, girl. Alright. I had to see your back. Uh, is that a joke of saying I, your back or my back? Like seeing the back. This back is kind of nice. I don't know why. I'm getting. <laughs> I'm gonna be using noodles uh. again. Sure, I'll take it. Oh my, Yagami-san, you're awfully rigid. 
I know, I was hoping your services could help. Just leave it to me. I think I've got this acupuncture thing down. I think you've got it down? Probably, alright. Going for another three rounds. Where do you want me to start? Alright, should I try all three and hope for the best that it works? Again, I don't know what works. When we did this before, can we do the same places again? Like the back? Will it work? Never mind, I missed. I am so sorry, Yagami. Fuck my life. Um, let's try the calves. Oh, that was incredible. I feel like a new man. Alright. I don't know why they make me pick. That's why I don't like these. Uh, this type of case. It's just, this is weird. This friendship is weird. Now I could do the waist or the glutes. Let's try the waist. Never mind, I am sorry. Alright. Hey, definitely improved since last time. Nah. <laughs> okay, whatever. I get the hang of it, puncturing people's skin, tiny little pins. One heck of a job. Uh, looks like next time will be the last time I see her, so... Yikes. Anyways, that out of the way. We got some stuff to do. Huh, these two are still over here? I could have sworn I saw the two before when I, we actually came over here. But anyways, I'm going to hate to... Wait, what? You look mighty familiar, but I guess a lot of NPCs have your face, which sucks. But anyways, the, fr uh, the friendship, where are you at? Oh, there you are. Who are you? Hey there, sport. Mind if I ask you a couple questions? Mm -hmm. Huh? Sure, why not? Are you the one... Are you one of the millions dissatisfied with poor and or unusual batting performance names? Hatano, by the way. Shuichi Hatano. Now, I develop sports equipment across all Japan, and I know a real slugger when I see one. What's your name? Yagami. Yagami. I guess straight to the point, Yagami-san. I've seen you step up to bat several times now, and I always think, wow, this rookie's got himself a pretty powerful swing. You think so? Almost oh, definitely. I find myself saying, man, this guy is good. I wish I was that good. Only he knew how to pick the right equipment. Is that right? So, how about this? I will give you an incredible opportunity to test out our all new batting gloves. Mm -hmm. Batting gloves? Not just any batting gloves either. They beef up the swing, improve your grip, keep your hands blister free. Easy as one, two, three. You'll be helping me gather valuable product data too. So don't be shy, give them a try. How about it, you got me, son? Are you on the ball with this one? Mm. Yes. Then they're yours. Very low price okay. of 3,000 yen. Wait, you're asking for money? <laughs> of course. You give, you get, you live, you learn. There's no such thing as free lunch. Surely you know the deal by now. Hmm, do I really spend 3,000 yen though? Give me the bitch. Oh my god, already halfway? Bruh. Anytime I have a new product, I'll bring it here with me. Alright, I guess I'll see you around. So what now? Do I use it? Mm, I'm going to go confirm something real quick about this guy before I actually continue with this. We got a lot of batting to do. Not something I particularly am comfortable with, but we about to get something done here. All right, buddy, ladies and gentlemen, you about to watch me fuck up the batting course. All right, they say any course. Alright, let's do this with the batting gloves. See what I can do. <laughs> what? That was slower than it should have been. I hate that. How can I not get that? I don't understand, bro. 
I always, 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 always fuck it up! And... Oh! Clear. Now on to do the next one. Alright, let's fuck this one up now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get screwed over for a little bit and now I'll strike back. is just trial and error with this it, it kind of sucks because I don't like doing that with this particular game because sometimes it just takes a while man anyways I should be able to do something with you now huh? no okay interesting so something should happen pretty soon but it seems to me I think I know what this means and if I know what this means we're gonna be here a while I'd have been so upset if I screwed that. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Bobo Goliath. Alright. See how long this takes. Yes. Kidding me? Oh my! Oh my God! Super Woo! All ten. Suck my titty, bitch! Yeah! <laughs> Woo! I've never actually done that ever in any Yakuza game. But we got Kotoku, as might as well say it like that. That was awesome. Let's get in. That was awesome, dude. So I still can't do anything with him, which means it's time for something new. I guess. Challenge course time. So we got these we gotta do. <laughs> you know what? Since I'm gonna try to confirm this assumption, let's do the Titan of Tokyo and see what we can do about some of these things. <laughs> oh, he says something else! Finally! Hatano! Alright, how are those bad and gloves treating you, Yagami son? They're not so bad. I see. At least that's an honest answer. But you won't have such a lackluster response once you feast your eyes on the wonder I brought you today. <laughs> Someone's excited. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? After all, we just finished developing the legendary, the ultimate Golden Bats. Hmm? What's so special about it? Glad you asked! It's coated with extra strength 
collect aluminum to really make those balls go flying. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how the grip on that thing. Well, after many a trial and error, we finally discovered the absolute perfect shape that will fit anyone and everyone's hands. Interesting. Go for the gold, you got me, son. Get into the swing of things and try it for yourself. Aren't these things expensive? Sure, maybe if you went with the other guys, but I'll offer you a huge discount and free delivery. All for only 30,000 yen. That is actually expensive. <laughs> Don't worry, your money won't go to waste. Everyone who's ordered it, this bad boy said that they could never imagine batting without it. 30,000 yen for a golden bat? Take it. I'll take it, but trust me, nothing knocks out knocks it out of the park or keeps you safer in the dark than a trusty golden bat. You're gonna love it. That's it for this goddamn friendship. I think we'll be back here, but I'm not too sure about that. I gotta ask why though. Why why sell all this stuff yourself? I mean, you say you were a developer, right? Why not have someone else do it? Well, it all started when I came down with a horrible illness and had to go on medical leave. Oh boy, here we go. Ever since then, I haven't been feeling like my normal self, so I've been hanging out at the batting cages to get some inspiration. Okay. But when I saw you batting, something inside me changed. My brain started firing on all cylinders once more. So I hurried back home, threw open my closet, and finished all the prototype equipment I was tinkering with before. And here you are selling it to me. Well, you do make some pretty quality stuff. I'm glad you find it useful. But if it weren't for you, I might still be lost among these cages like a forgotten foul ball and never return to the field. No sweat, Otano son. If you ever develop any new equipment, definitely let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure when that'll be, but I guess we'll leave, or just have to see. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> see you around, sport. That is it for that friendship. I wonder if something else will happen at the batting cages, but I'm not too sure about that. If something does happen, it'll probably be another time when I come back here. But with that finally finished, bruh. We are losing the amount of friendships I could think of doing. Did not a lot of um, side case I could really tackle. The ones I know that I know we still have. We still got something going on here for the drone races. That's one of the only things I know I haven't done. Now, there is some other things I like to check, but when it comes down to it, there is a place I actually do do need to go to and that's actually back over here paradise vr we got a bunch of play pass i've been thinking about tackling this but before we do that let's head back to the yagami detective agency here we go again <laughs>